Hello Pisces, this is Tanya Lee from Harmonia and welcome. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice. This way you get all notifications of when I go live and upload. And I do upload quite frequently. I have taken a little bit of a hiatus in May. That's why this is a little bit late. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, if you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe, smash that bell, and then you'll get all the notifications, okay? And I do go live typically on Sundays. I didn't get to go this Sunday because it was Mother's Day and I took the day off, but typically I go live for all Zodiac readings on Sundays for weekly updates, all right? And if you want something more private and personable, just an announcement, um, my bookings will be closed in June. So I only have a couple more bookings for this month. So it, this would be the month to do it because the books are going to be closed in June. Closed, all right? I'm taking a hiatus a little bit in June just for private readings, all right? The public readings will still be going on and my membership area readings will still be going on. So my paid membership area, only way to get there is through the description box below at Harmonia Friends, my website, all right? Um, that paid area is unlimited access, unlimited access to daily readings called daily TLCs or kind of like general readings like this for all Zodiac signs Monday through Friday, which is Friday is usually the weekend one, right? I'm actually doing a public one um, later on uh, as well. So anyway, let's get started. All right, Pisces, let's get started. All right. And more welcome back to my regular subscribers too. I still love you. I love you guys too. We're going to start off with the oracle cards and then get into the tarot spread. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force anything to fit. <laughs> All right. Calling in our gods, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? Reminder, time is fluid, guys. This may not just be May's energy. I, my readings are really all timeless. All right. Here we go. Ooh, have faith, Pisces. You gotta have faith. You gotta have faith here. Ooh, why do I feel like I have a Pisces here, faith in the process, who's going through praying? I'm hearing praying for a break. Spirit's with you. You got that bird on there. There's it could be a guy, could be a past loved one, but you you got you're not alone. All right, but I feel that you feel a little trapped. I feel like you're not doing things the way you want to do it. I feel like someone's pulling that wagon, meaning that you don't have a choice in the direction. You may feel you don't have the choice in the direction that you're going, but I feel like your guides are telling you that's just part of the process. This is just part of the process, right? Inspiration. There's a need to be more inspired. I may be talking to a Pisces here who's feeling lack of inspiration, lack of creativity. You're going through something. There's some kind of, I feel pain. I feel pain of some sort, okay? Um, now, some of you, it may be you're sick or having a timeout here, okay? And it's like, oh my gosh, why am I sick all of a sudden? Others of you, maybe there's something changing in your life where where you have to put your, you feel like you have to put your life on hold for others, right? But there's something here where, I feel vulnerable. I feel stuck. I feel like, please, please make this over. But look at all this light. Look at all this growth. Have faith in the process. 32, 5, change, and 3 is collaboration. You got to work with spirit here. Spirit's trying to collaborate with you, Pisces. With you. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say. We have the nine of pentacles reversed. We have the queen of swords with the 10 of cups reversed and the page of swords. Ooh, there is definitely something going on here that has left you feeling cold, all right? We have the higher font reversed. We have the 10 of swords, the sad squirrel card, which is particular for this deck. And we'll discuss that in a second. The emperor, the ace of wands reversed, the ace of swords, the three of cups and the three of swords reversed. There is some major heartbreak that you're trying, you're trying to get over here. All right. 
it's not quite clear. I don't think that you're crying and having sleepless nights at this point because I feel like you've been in this for quite some time. I'm talking to a Pisces that has been in it for quite some time and it's like, this is just the way it is, right? I don't know. I feel like you got it. It's not like it's keeping you up or at night, but I feel like you, you are, there's an awareness here awareness here I feel like you know that there's awareness here that you have to trust the process and you're slowly getting out of that Pisces I just feel this energy of you slowly getting out of that all right now let's talk about the nine of pentacles because this to me is the card of independence this is to me is a card of worth this is to me is a card of being able to do things on your own to feel good to feel stable um, not so worried about what others are doing, can, you know, handle things on your own, but with it reversed, whew, some of you are dealing with something at home with family members, and if it's not family, it could be a soul tribe or it could be a work tribe, but there's something here where it's been going too slow, all right, not in your pace. I'm hearing not in your pace. And with the Queen of Swords, this is someone, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy, who wants the truth and nothing but the truth. But she can kind of become off a little bit calculated, right? Logical, right? I keep, I keep hearing, Pisces, that you want to have a logical explanation why things aren't happy at home or things aren't happy at work. I, I think you're looking for logic into the situation here. Yeah, we got the Page of Swords. By the Page of Swords, it's like, I feel like you're trying to observe the situation. Observe why this process is like making you feel lack of. I just feel very lack of inspiration here, lack of happiness. Um, feeling like you got to do your duties here. Like, you know, like some of you might be a mom or something like that. And it's like, well, the truth of the matter is I have all of this logical stuff to do. I got to take care of the kids. I got to take care of the home. I got to take care of work and stuff like that. And I'm not feeling happy or inspired. I'm hearing inspired to kind of do things on my own. Pisces, this higher font energy with Taurus is reversed. This is the out of box thinking, but even trying to be creative, even trying to do things that are not part of the norm feels a little bit overwhelming. It feels like a burden and I feel like you're getting kind of fucking grumpy about it. <laughs> right? I mean, it's a sad squirrel, but he ain't just sad. He looks a little pissed off, pissed off. Now, what's interesting is, is we have the Aries ent um, energy here of the emperor, all right? You may, this may be a boss, this may be a father, but there's something here where you're not happy about a situation, all right? Not happy. There's something that that is leaving you feeling stuck, leaving you feeling stuck because you're not in charge. You're not in charge. You're not. You're not in charge of the situation, okay? You may disagree with this individual or you may not be able to do your own things because of this individual, but it's like they're older, they're wiser, I'm hearing, but it's not like wiser, like they're better than you. It's just making you feel stuck. It's making you feel like you can't do your things that you want to have a new beginning on because this individual is taking up your time and you're observing that. You're observing it in a big way, right? And I feel like you're trying to get out of the clouds. You're trying to get out of giving, giving, giving so much because I feel like you almost feel like that tree, like, holy shit, where did I go? I'm just a stump now, right? You're trying very hard to keep things together, people happy, family happy, your tribe happy. And what the truth of the matter is, is you're feeling like I haven't been able to heal my heart. I haven't been able to do what I want to do. And I'm not, I'm feeling the lack of inspiration. You're doing something that is against what you want to do right now because of, I keep hearing a family obligation or something that you got to do for something. Like, I don't know if it's a boss, a contract, but I just feel this energy Pisces of you feeling like you got to do something a specific way. And it's not allowing you to be creative. 
but I keep hearing it's part of the process. Have faith in the process. Yeah. Many of you, this is in regards to traveling, wanting to do things that, you know, get your rewards. But this is ha this is usually all the tools that are on here are the tools that the magician does to manifest. And it's like, am I ever going to get it? It feels so far away. Spirit's like, yeah. Yeah, you are. You're just not going to be able to see it. You got to trust the process here, right? You got to trust the process here, all right? King of Cups. Water energy, that's you. I just feel like you're in your feels about this, right? It's like, I feel like you're pouring your cup into others right now. And it's not a make, it's it's draining you. There's something in regards to family, friends, or work or something where I feel like it's more than one person. But I feel like someone here is like the boss of it, a leader, a father figure or some sort, all right? Or a parent, could be a mother too. I'm not reading gender specific here. But whatever it is, yep. King and queen, family, someone you see eye to eye with, could be a parent, could be a spouse. This is, this could be a sibling even, but Pisces, this is, this is someone who's just as empathetic and loving and emotional. And I feel like you feel like you can't even hold your cup anymore. And you, some of you may get pissed off. Some of you may be a little bit explosive here with your emotions. And that's usually not what the King of Cups does. The King of Cups is usually pretty reserved. Pretty reserved. Yeah, you're hiding this. You're trying to hide this. But you feel stuck. You feel like you're going to go in a hangman situation here. You feel like you're in the crossroads. You're trying not to be egotistical about this. You're trying to put the work in and have patience on this, I'm hearing, Pisces. But the bigger thing is, is I feel that you're helping someone or doing something or whatever this process is. It's not necessarily intended the way that you thought it was going to be. You didn't think that you would have to be doing this, like I'm hearing, to feed someone a new perception or to help someone out. Wow. But whatever this is, this balance of give and take is actually going to give you a bigger opportunity, I'm hearing, Pisces. A bigger offer. And I feel like this bigger offer is going to actually give you some time to reflect on why things are working the way they are. And it is going to transform you here with that snake that he's holding and be enlightened here with the Virgo energy. You just can't see things right now. And I do feel this energy of you just feeling like pff, lack of inspiration, observing why this is happening. Yeah. We're going to stop here, but with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, I feel like some of you are just trying to nurture yourself, build a growth. But I keep seeing a father figure too. Fathers come out twice. You know, these are my two father figures. I mean, I'll be honest. <laughs> so, like, that's only for some of you. But I just feel like there's someone here... Um, you're putting effort into and the efforts aren't getting re reframed back, but it's like, you, I just keep feeling like, is this going to, is this going to end soon? I don't know if you're in a contract or what, but woo! another reading was similar to this and I can't think of who it was. But I think they got literally the same card here, too, all right? I can't remember what it was. I want to say it was an earth sign. I want to say it was an earth sign, all right? Could have been Virgo. Maybe Virgo. I'm not sure. All right, so everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within, all right? Trust the process. This is part of the growth. This standstill is only temporarily. I feel that you're a little bit pissed off or you know not necessarily showing it but I can feel it I can feel it Pisces all right um trust the process all right just trust the process trust the growth have faith um this inspiration will come back all right I do feel like you're gonna get into that notion it's just gonna take some time for you all right all right guys if this resonated for you go ahead and hit a like comment below don't forget to subscribe would love to see you in my facebook group that is free it's called harmonia friends just go ahead and search harmonia friends um and I also hope to see you on my uh paid membership area but if not this is where we part ways take care